change my glasses Aries this is your Elin reading okay my darlings let's see what is happening for the extended of this reading you Aries you need to pick up um, the link below or join the channel this is for the 2020 um, reading so let's uh, check out and see what is going on okay so don't dim your light Aries whatever is transpiring don't dim your lights okay so whatever the, in, uh, the issue is don't dim your lights okay um Aries this is an Elin for you guys so whatever is happening and transpiring Aries be aware of the situations around you don't dim your light for anyone okay all right let's go in this and see what is happening what is transpiring I have 20 minutes 27 minutes to go all right so you Aries the princess how are you being called to step up and lead you are being called to step up and lead so whatever is happening you Aries it's all about this healing is about uh, how are you being called to step up and lead you're going to be asking yourself these questions and finding out how um to lead age of light you have been training for this lifetime the age of light is here some of you are forgotten are forgotten that you were trained for this lifetime so you gotta step up and open up yourself this is what is crossing you and this is going to be affecting you in the month of April May and June <coughs> so <clears throat> Aries be aware of what is transpiring um what is under you is that you need a deep treatment you need to heal yourself you need to heal your soul Aries whatever is transpiring you need to heal your soul it's it's about time to stand up uh, regain your power and heal your soul because your soul has been beaten down dance with life because whatever is transpiring it is a time to dance with life because this is going to be opening up doors of opportunity it's going to be healing you and however way this is going to be affecting you there is changes that is going to be coming up star seeds what light you up what is lighting you up what light up your soul you're going to be looking to find out what it is that light up your soul and this is going to be good so whatever is transpiring and happening um there is a lot that is going to be transpiring in your life you aries and you got to be aware of this i see that you aries are going to learn to place um boundaries let people know in the month of july august and september how far to go you're going to be teaching people and placing boundaries around you whatever the issue and the situation is i see a lot of you dealing with um um listen to your intuition rituals and passage crossing the threshold listen to your intuition um you're going to be passing the threshold now what this is all saying because this is coming up in december october november december and what is transpiring ladies and gentlemen is that they want you to be awakened and heal the soul because this is a reading for the soul okay it's about awakening your soul healing your soul helping you moving forward in a very very positive way okay eight of swords is that some of you are not seeing a situation you are not seeing a situation and it's as if your soul is awakening you up you're not seeing a situation about a gemini whatever is transpiring in your life with a gemini you're just not seeing the situation and they want you to wake up and see the truth about this person and what exactly is transpiring the age of light is here in the month of april may and june and whatever is transpiring um in that month you are going to be um balance out okay some of you are dealing with a financial situation but you're going to be moving forward your financial situation is going to be healed in april may and june some of you are dealing with a difficult situation this could be um a child or this could be someone who you're dealing with and you need to have a deep healing between you and this person for whatever that has happened and has transpired i see um some of you are dealing with a pisces cancer or a scorpion and you need to um 
draw boundaries with this person whoever this person is you are about to draw your boundaries in the month of july august and september this young person these two people seems to affect in um you um uh, aries and i see whatever is transpiring between you and a young pisces cancer or scorpion uh, this is a little a younger person you're going to be drawing your boundaries with this person um in the month of july august and september now i see the energy of the emperor um i see the energy that some of you listen to your intuition about the corporation institute say listen to your intuition about these people um because uh, some of you could be connecting to organization institution and this is going to be it is as if um you're going to be doing rituals so some of you could be connecting um to these uh, uh, society these secret societies and that sort of a thing and um your intuition is right about the secret society if you think that someone is connected to a secret society your information is going to be right so however this is happening um for you guys you gotta be aware of what is transpiring seeing the truth um to a, a situation seeing the truth um why you have moved forward seeing the truth because your soul is speaking to you and you're seeing the truth to what has been transpired some of you are going to be finding out that it's because of a young taurus virgo or capricorn whatever has transpired is affecting your life because you're seeing the truth about this young Taurus Virgo Capricorn and I see that you're going to be standing up and draw your boundaries to whoever this person is and whatever that was transpiring okay now I see the energy that is coming up um, about um, you moving forward okay you need to stand your ground and protect yourself you're too open and you need to stand your ground and protect yourself you need to stand your ground and protect yourself from a corporation or an institute say, okay whatever is transpiring you're going to be overcoming the deceptiveness that has been happening in a corporation or institute say. but you this healing is about healing your soul releasing yourself from um, things situation that no longer serves you so Aries what is happening for you guys it's about your willpower it's about what you think about you know about okay it's about doing it in the right way the eighth house what is the eighth house the eighth house has to do with legal matters it has to do with the husband and the wife it is the house of the legalities so a lot of you Aries could be um, dealing with the situation so I see the energy of willpower in the eight house as a life or debt issue, which it could come up as you are married to someone in um in, in debt or life. Okay, so you're dealing with the eight house, whatever is transpiring, and I see Mars is coming up, your own planet. Um, so Aries, whatever is transpiring, I see Mars comes up because Mars is your planet now there is going to be changes in relationship that is coming up for you guys what you do or think about getting and using your power the controlling of how you do this you're going to need to change it okay so whatever is transpiring i see energy wise someone could be passing away um in your life someone um getting and using your power uh, confronting someone is going to be happening up for some of you and using other people resources um force yourself to so no 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 some of you are going to be coming in um problems and issues and situation by using other people resources however that is coming up you could have taken someone else's resources i see legal issues because this is in the eighth house and i see divorce major problems and divorce could be coming up for um you um aries so be aware of what is transpiring um energies to meet the challenges personal power i see some of you are over you have overused your personal power or is going to be using your personal power the drive for using personal power so be aware your desire regarding the mystery of life the confronting of uh, yourself and and people and situation so obviously a lot of you whenever the eight house come up this is the house of the scorpion the eight house is a house of the scorpion 
So you got to be aware of this because the house of the scorpion is all a bit about relationship intimacy. So you got to be aware of this. And Mars is coming in. So I see a lot of eruption in your life as an Aries. So a lot of endings, a lot of endings is going to be happening. So you got to be aware. Pass over loved ones, Conf um, comfort, forgiveness and support. So um, as if you guys are working with the spirit world. There are Passover loved ones that is going to be um, uh, helping you out. However, this is coming up. There is a lot of people who are having um, to connect with Passover loved ones. We're going to be helping you out of the spirit world. So comfort is there. Forgiveness and support is going to be coming in from Passover loved one in the spirit world. Then we have the message of dream big, dream big, let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding because you are going to be succeeding. So whatever the issue and the situation that was happening and transpiring, pass over loved ones is going to be helping you to open up doors and give you, they want you to start dreaming big and not having these small dreams for yourself, but dream big because as you dream big, you're going to be opening up the energies uh, um, to the universe. So, Although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. So some of you, your past over loved one is saying this to you, um, you know, that sometimes, especially fresh people who have passed over to the spirit world, sometimes we're not aware of what is happening for them and how, and how this affects you. But what is happening and transpiring, I see that they're saying that now you might not understand it, but in the, the future, um, you will understand what exactly has transpired. I see these souls. The, the message is that they're happy. Um, they're, they're happy. They're celebrating. Um, they are happy that they are no longer in the body. They're um, celebrating their soul. And this is what they want you also to celebrate is to celebrate your soul. So Aries, it is really a soul reading. And what is coming up um, with the soul reading, I'm seeing a lot of you are very worried. Okay. Whatever is transpiring. Um, I'm seeing a lot of you being very worried. Okay. Um, something has happened, ladies and gentlemen, uh, apparently someone has entered the room. Okay. So, um, there is a lot of fogginess and I said about past life, I hope you guys are still seeing it. I can't see if the camera is still rolling. So, um, the message for some, for some of you out there is that you have been watched over by spirit guides. Okay. I see the energy of pyramids is coming up. I see the sun and the rainbow energy that is coming in. And this is going to be positive. I see, um, it's as if whatever is transpiring, I see that uh, the spirit world is going to be opening up for you and helping you out. There is a beautiful energy of a rainbow that I'm seeing. And oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Um, very, very beautiful. I've been playing around with this all day because it sits in front of me. There is, there is as if the, 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 the divine, the light of spirit, Okay, the light of spirit, where is as if your spirit guides the soul of these spirits is going to be coming in. It's very beautiful. It's like a beautiful starry night, but it's as if you're covered. There is a beautiful thick rainbow, and this rainbow um is is looking as if it is uh, um the sense of light. Wonderful alignment of energy. For someone out there, um, this is for someone, a lady 50 years and older. I see that your husband, you know, he's, he's, um, he's, um, he has passed over to the spirit world and he is preparing for you. It's not yet time, but, um, it's as if he's saying to you, you got to heal your soul. Okay. Whatever is transpiring is that. He's saying to you, you got to heal your soul. So whatever is transpiring and it's so beautiful because um, the soul that I see and speak with is uh, um, from the light, okay? And um, what is happening and transpiring is that these souls are so connected and it's as if you Aries are protected by um, 
the most high is as if they are so pure and they're going to be here for you guys and this is just so weird i always um do it but i never do it on the camera and now so aries whatever is happening enjoy and i will talk to you um next time